If you want to create a new c -sharp script in Unity, all you do is right click, create and select c -sharp script. Now if you open it up, you will see that it contains out of the box some comments and two methods start and update. In case you don't need them, it is not much uh, work to delete them, but if you create multiple scripts in your project, this amount of time that you spend on deleting this content can amount to some big quantities. And why is there no better way to create the script as an empty script or if you want to create an interface, we would need to change it into an interface and delete the Molly Behavior Inheritance and we probably do not need those uh, libraries here. So this is much shorter, but we have spent a bit of time deleting all of those unnecessary parts of our script. In this video, I want to show you how we can create a custom script templates for our project. First thing that we need to do is go to our assets topmost folder, since this folder is pretty important for what we are going to do, we need to right click create a new folder and we need to call it exactly script templates with capital S and capital T. Now as you might already know, Unity Engine has some special folder names that play a role in the Unity editor uh, and we have this editor folder, assets folder and so on. In our case, we are interested in creating templates and we have script templates folder. We need to enter it and here we can define templates for our scripts. Now this is vital that it is inside the assets folder. If this is somewhere else, it will not work. Now to start creating our templates, we need to create some text files. Now for me, the easiest way is to right click show in Explorer and I will open this templates folder and I will right click, select new and create a new text document. And this is it. Now I need to go back to Unity to see this text document appear. Now the tricky part is the name of the file. We need to give it some specific parameters and code it in the name. So first parameter is index. Now this is how high this specific new class.cs will appear in the right click create editor in the category. Now the category itself is the C sharp templates. This will create the category inside the create menu and those two underscore symbols will create for us a subcategory and a new class will be the name of the item that we can click to create a new class cs so this will be simply the name of the file and those are separated by dashes so this will uh, be how we can define our uh, menu inside the create asset menu inside unity inspector okay so let's go back to unity okay so i'm going to right click and select rename and I will paste the same name that I have shown you in on those slides. Now of course this will have the extension .txt. What we can do is select it Control D to duplicate it and I will call the second one uh, 02. So this will, should appear below this uh, new class and I'll call this new interface instead. And I will call the uh, file new interface or I interface dot cs and this is how we can create additional templates by simply adding one to the, the index and this will be how they appear inside the uh, menu or subcategory that will appear now this will not work just yet because we need to define the content of those text files so let's select one and let's open it up in visual studio now another tricky part is the default template code Basically, what we have is just the definition of a class inside the text file, so we have those libraries. But as the name, we need to give it this hashtag script name hashtag with capital letters. And basically what it will do is get the name of the file, so file name CS, and it will apply it to this public class. This will be named file name uh, and this will be mono behavior script. So basically this is how we get the name from the uh, file name and apply it to the class. Now the uh, hashtag no trim hashtag keeps the white space in between those parentheses some ideas might trim it so this should ensure that you avoid this issue where you have those uh, braces near each other and you will need to create a new line each time you want to create a new script and basically this is it so inside my text file i will paste the template code and what I want to do is basically create an empty c -sharp class. So I will copy this hashtag no trim hashtag. I will delete the start and update methods and I will paste this 
hashtag no trim hashtag here and i will leave this public class hashtag script name hashtag uh, colon mono behavior just to make sure that i will create a new script that extends mono behavior and that is empty and of course we can delete or keep those library references let's save this let's go back to unity and actually let's copy this part because what we are going to do is go back to unity and we are going to open our 02 and this will be an interface so instead of mono behavior i want to delete this part i want to call this public uh, interface and this is pretty important to type it correctly because you have no autocomplete so if you make an error here this will be shown inside the new file that is created for you and this will still keep this hashtag script name hashtag and no trim uh, parameters let's save this and let's go back to unity now the problem is that nothing has happened yet if we right click we do not have any additional menu inside our create asset menu so we need to restart our unity so let's do just that okay if everything went well you should be able to right click create and you should see at the top c sharp templates and you should see new class and new interface let's create a new class and you will see in the inspector that it has created for us the code that we have defined if we right click create a c sharp templates new interface it will create i interface because this is the name of the text file and if you open it up in visual studio you will see that our i interface and new class are c sharp scripts that you can start filling in and the class name was given by the file name so if we go back and create a new right click create c sharp template new interface i clickable the name will be applied inside the file thanks a lot for watching if you have enjoyed this video leave a like subscribe to the channel and let me know what you think about this solution in the comment section take care